I want to show you a graph that illustrates the relationship between a bond's price, its yield, and the years till the bond matures. Now, if you look in the middle of the, of the graph here, we have this black line, and the cursor doesn't look very good on top of this, uh, this picture I have here. You can't see it very well. But there's this horizontal line at 10%, because this is a 10% coupon bond. It has a 10% coupon rate, and its yield is also equal to 10%. So the bond sells for its par value, which in this case is $1,000. And it doesn't matter what, how many years until the bond matures, it always sells for $1,000 in this case. In fact, we'll just check the math here, right? If we have 10% uh, 10 yield and we have 10 years until the bond matures, the price of the bond, let's go over to our financial calculator and just work it out. What do we get? Let's clear our time value of money workspace. We have 10 years. We have an interest rate of 10%. The payment or the coupon is going to be 10% of 1,000 or $100 a year. And you're going to get back 1,000 when the bond matures. And let's compute the present value. It's 1,000. If we change the number of periods to 20, you can compute the present value. It's also a thousand. So the bond sells for its par value. That's why we get that horizontal line. Now, if the interest rate goes down, let's say it goes down to 8%. This is this blue line up here. What do you see? You see that the bond's price goes up and it goes up more if there are more years until the bond matures. Well, let's think about the intuition here. In this case, we have, if you have a 10% bond, you're getting $100 a year in interest. If interest rates have fallen to 8%, that means the current crop of bonds are only paying $80 a year in interest. So you have a really good bond. Your bond is going to sell for a premium because it's paying $20 more a year in interest than other bonds of similar characteristics, similar risk. So people will pay you more for it, and they'll pay you more the more years they're locked into getting an extra $20 a year. So let's, let's do a calculation here to check this out, make sure the graph is correct. Let's say we have, I gotta find my cursor, there it is, 8% for 10 years. All right, I have to change back the number of periods to 10. Okay, the coupon is the same and the face value or par value are the same, so we don't have to adjust those. We just need to change the interest rate and let's compute the present value. We get 1134.20. So the price of this bond is going to be $1134.20. And if you go over here, if we were somewhere, again, where's my, I lost my cursor again. It's hard to find it. At 10 years, if you were to draw up, in fact, let me change the color here, change it to red. All right, so if I were to start here at, at 10, and I were to draw up to uh, the this curve here, so I've got this little dot here, and I were to draw across, okay, I guess I could draw some lines, but I don't want to get too sloppy here. It's too much stuff. If I were to draw across, that's 1134. 20. Now what happens if the bond, let's say we go to 20 years. I'll go back to yellow. It's easier to see the yellow on the black. So 8% for 20 years. Let's see what the price of the bond is going to be. 20 years. Let's compute the price of the bond. 1196 36. And again, you can do the same thing if we went to 20 years and we drew, so we're here, and we drew all the way up to here. And if we draw across, it should be just a little bit under, under the 1200 mark. All right, let's do one for a 12% interest rate. So let's say 12% for 20 years. 
what's the price of the bond all right all we have to do is change the interest rate to 12 percent compute the present value 85061 and again let me just draw up here so again 20 years we draw up to this curve here if we drew across we would be around here right just around the midpoint just fractionally above the midpoint I may not have drawn it quite right but 85061 so let me let me just summarize a, some rules here you know most students really like rules all right if the yield equals the coupon rate then the price of the bond equals its par value. Okay, That's that black line we had, that horizontal line, 10% and 10%. If the yield were to go up, that is, th this is the case of 12% yield, 10% coupon rate, the price of the bond will now be less than its par value. And if it's the case where the yield goes down, okay, it goes down to 8% while the coupon rate is 10%, the price of the bond will go up, okay, will be greater than its par value. So sometimes we write it this way. If the yield goes up, the price of the bond goes down, and if the yield goes down the price of the bond goes up and we say that they're inversely related they move in opposite directions okay you oftentimes hear bond prices and interest rates are inversely related now this isn't just some abstract concept this is a mathematical fact so if you're listening to the business report if you're watching CNBC or some other Bloomberg financial some other business finance show they'll tell oftentimes tell you the Treasury bond yield went up a certain amount and the price of the Treasury bonds went down a certain amount they really don't have to tell you both the relationship you can figure out mathematically or sometimes they'll tell you the price of the bonds went up which means the yield went down but this is a, a mathematical fact and you know it's a good thing to know because if you're an investor and you believe interest rates will go up then you'd like to have what you'd like to have shorter term bonds if you think interest rates are going to go down you'd like to have longer term bonds now we can do this in a more rigorous manner by looking at a concept referred to as duration but as far as just basic bond pricing, it's enough to sort of understand this relationship here. Duration is a little bit of an advanced concept that, that uh, bond portfolio managers use. But this is a good graph that you know, should give you a good intuitive feel for the price of a bond and um, the relationship between changing yields and changing maturities.